Every World Cup brings with it a wave of nostalgia, and for people of a certain age, a big part of that is the beloved Panini sticker album. But surely the humble sticker has had its day in the digital age. What better place to start than my old school to see if that is still the case? Who here likes football? Okay. And does anybody collect Panini World Cup sticker? Two of you. Okay. My dad collects them with me. My dad started collecting them when I was young and he told me about them. Uh -huh. So I thought that it would be quite a fun thing to do. I prefer FIFA. I'd rather play FIFA so when you can actually control the player. I'm a little bit sad that only a handful of the students are collecting Panini stickers and those that are seem to be spurred on by their parents. Greg Lansdowne, expert collector and author, has agreed to show me his Panini albums. OK. Definitely a, uh, a smell of something. I don't know if it's the, the adhesives. This is a classic design, this one, the, uh, that font. Greg has an impressive collection dating all the way back to 1979. So I've actually got some swaps with me. Can we swap? What do I do with <laughs> that, that is not the way to keep your doubles, as far as, far as I'm concerned. I have a box that I tend to keep them in. Well, like a, tough, like a Tupperware? A, a very small one, like, a, uh, like something you put your business cards in. In the old days, you used to get, a lot of kids would put a big elastic band around. Yeah, that's what I Can you yeah. imagine what they were doing to the cards and all curling up? I'll see what I know. Uh, you see, what, what you really want to aim for is one rip and then you can start pulling them out, whereas you, you needed two or three. <laughs> and and when, when you've got a lot of packets to get through, you, you really want to be able to, to wrestle through. But, but it's, it's still early. OK. Greg tips us off that city workers are big time sticker heads. We're going to speak to the people that know best, and that's the news agents. We're selling um, Panini World Cup stickers. Yes, we do. I'll take five packets, please. Five packets? Yes, please, yeah. thanks. Have you found that they're really popular around here? Or? They're very popular this year. I think this has been the best year. Really? In, in so far for us, yeah. Even though the price has gone up? Even though the price has gone up, yeah. Have you ever had instances of someone buying, like... Buying a whole box. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many do you think you sell every week? I mean, we've got quite a lot of stock here. Uh, roughly about 30, 30, 35 boxes a week. You sell 35 boxes, boxes a, week? a week? At the minute. Whoa. And do you think that's kind of just for uh, financial workers? Specialist young city workers in between uh, roughly 20 to, uh, no, 25 to 35 collecting yeah. those. Cheers. Oh, don't get these. Thanks. The news agent seemed to confirm Grace's theory. So I'm off to meet a group of city workers who swap in a local pub. How exactly did it work? Who started the idea? I worked with Dave back in 2002, and obviously we would talk about how we collected 86, 1990. And we said, how about we do 2002? And I think we got the whole office involved. What part of the process do you think you enjoy the most? Is it opening the packs? Is oh, it? Yeah. Is it sticking them in? Opening the pack and seeing that shiny, it's like Willy Wonka yeah. getting a golden ticket. <laughs> I skipped down the road all the way home. That feeling that you were talking about, um, is it something that you had like, is the same oh, that you yeah. had as a kid or you? To be honest, I was actually doubting doing it this year. I was thinking, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. Can I go through this? And then I think it was you, Mel, said, come on, let's go and buy a pack. That was it. The feeling that came back just by. So we bought 20 in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say just buy one pack, but we didn't. didn't so we? have you, have you, have you ever been that. into a news agents and, and like just bought like a box? Or? No, no, they're banned from my group if that happens. We're still old school. We're still trying to treat it like we did at the playground where we'd go out. I'd like to say we'd buy one or two packs, but we are going in and buying about 20 packs yeah. at a time. Yeah. So there is a kind of like a, a code of honour. To, the to point, some extent. To the point where the woman in Tesco's did say to me the other day, oh, you're buying a lot, your kid must be very happy with you. <laughs> not, not, not for me, kid. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone can afford to buy 20 packs at a time, so some people have come up with creative solutions to the problem. So we've come to Oxford today to meet uh, Panini Cheapskates, and uh, there are a couple that basically draw th their own World Cup stickers and they post pictures of their drawings on, on social media for charity, and it's proved really, really hey, popular. Hi. So how did uh, Panini Cheapskates come about? Yeah, so um, it was the eve of the 2014 World Cup and um, we were in the pub with a couple of our friends mm -hmm. and they were doing their little sticker swap sessions and I was a bit jealous and there was an uh, article during the rounds at the time that said 
it costs about 450, 500 pounds to complete the album. A bit too expensive, <laughs> probably more important things we could be spending our money on. It became this kind of thing, could we fill the album mm. for nothing? Anyway. Yeah. Like zero pounds, zero <laughs> pence. Um, and the only way we could think of doing that was to, yeah, go ahead and draw. So what is it about football stickers that you, you think people have kind of an affinity with? It is, it is a lot of nostalgia for people, you know, who collected them as kids. Because I, I think it feels like they're, it's much more popular than it was maybe 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. But then maybe not as popular as it was in its absolute heyday. So it's, maybe it's like a cyclical thing and you've got to be enough years removed from when it was a big deal to re-engage with it. Um, I mean, that's awful. Looks nothing like him. <laughs> Sean, why do we bother? <laughs> I think that's, isn't that the whole point? I guess so, but I mean, I'm pretty embarrassed. Is that too bad? Greg has invited me back to his local to learn how a proper swap should be done. So I'll take your advice. I've got, a, got, uh, got, a, got myself a, a Tupperware for my swaps. Rather than uh, uh, elastic bands. Yeah, pleased to say that. So, um, yeah. I've done the same. So, you guys are the experts. What do we, what do we start with in this situation? Uh, well, I mean, I, I've got uh, my list of needs on right. my app. Uh, I've brought a time, so I've just got the book. You've um, brought your book, which yeah. Greg told me wasn't kosher, really. So there's no right and wrong way, but uh, if, if you ask... Uh, a bona fide panini collector, they'll probably say best to leave it at home. I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, but I've scribbled down all that I've got. Is that not...? It's, it's going to be a painstaking process, it's fair to say. Okay. But um, we, we can do it, we can... Uh, how, how many do you need? I, I've got no idea. <laughs> I, I would suggest that we start, Could because as I say, because you, uh, yeah, no, you need loads. Seven? No. Nine? Nine. 28. No. Oh. 52. Yeah, I think we're 52. Shall I hold him and then, and then you can be easy? Yeah. No. 66. Yes. Yes. We've got one. We have one. We have success. Sticker collecting is still alive and well, but it's not quite recreating the playground experience I remember. So I'm going in search of the larger swap meets. There's an official Panini bus travelling around, around the UK. So we've come to this car park in North London. Hi Hello. Are you collecting? I'm you collecting, yeah. Are, so uh, we've got a few stickers that are helping uh, people on their way. Thanks. And a mixture of kids and adults, what's the kind of... Okay. Loads of dads have done it as children, so uh -huh. there's loads of second generation people coming. You... Getting more into it than the kids. Oh. No, I was really dubious about coming here today thinking it would just be children. But... Me too. I really thought that. And I was pretty confident to be a load of middle aged men. <laughs> Should have left the kids at home. I just got uh, the Mexico shiny. Yeah. You take them back. Oh, thank you. Cheers. So, so I've been doing really well on this table. Uh, everyone here is getting really close, so they've got loads of swaps. And I reckon I've probably got about another 30 out in the last 10 minutes. That definitely took me back to my school days. I felt myself getting genuinely carried away. Next stop is the National Football Museum in Manchester for my final swap meet. I started out this film investigating a story, but now all I really want to do is complete my album. It gives you that nostalgia, really. Yeah, yeah. I remember collecting the 1978 World Cup one, filling those books, and then the 79 League book, and then mum's throwing them away. <laughs> What's changed since 40 years? Nothing. <laughs> still, I've still enjoyed it. Obviously when I was 10 I had to wait for one or two packets every week or so, or now I've been able to buy loads of packets. So Harper's uh, memorized the cards with the swaps when he buy the bases, because he knows what's in the book already. So so he, he, he doesn't look at the numbers at all? He no, he just he, he studies a book almost every day. Wow, because there's like 670, so that's, it, yeah. that's... He never looks at a list. I'm the only one doing the paperwork. How do you feel about your kids handling you your stickers? <laughs> Are you a bit funny about it? I can't let them stick them in either, because well, they're like all over the place. <laughs> my daughter, who was two at the time, Rips one of the pages on my Euro 2016 album. Shock and horror, that was my first reaction. Why do you think it was that I, I there was all that time passed, 40 years, and you, and you didn't do it? Because I've hit 50 this year, <laughs> absolutely. What about you, are you tempted? I'd rather walk over hot coals. <laughs>
After visiting my old school, I felt that there was something lost, but now I see it's just a different, maybe wider demographic, keeping sticker collecting alive. I'm having a little bit of count, and I actually did better than I thought I did. I haven't got enough to finish my album, but I've definitely got below the 50 mark, so I can now send, send off two Panini for the final 50. If I do that, then I've completed my album. So it's been a good day. And I got the super rare Bobby Firmino. Panini had to reprint this because they stated that Liverpool FC was in Brazil. They've reprinted it correctly in England. And now I get to stick them in. <laughs>